What's up everyone, Luke here. Welcome to the first episode of Sly 2, Band of Thieves. If you're excited for more Sly content, don't forget to leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new. This will be our first playthrough ever of this game. I'm pretty excited. I kind of love the Sly series and I'm excited to see this thing through. So thanks for joining me on this journey. Let's start. What? This is the wizard. Do you read me, sitting duck? This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly. I'm the wizard, and you're sitting duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it. You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself at the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. The, um, the graphics are a little cleaner. I guess their budget was bigger since the first one was such a success. So he has this holster. Does he have a gun now? Oh, cool. Okay, he doesn't run anymore. Oh, what's this? This is a new attack. Alright. Alright, let's see what we got here. Who that? Who that? So we're in a museum. Getting ready to steal something, no doubt. Um, Go up here. Just because. Feels nice. I can already feel the difference between this and the first game. Okay, I splice the wires. Ow! Hold on. There it is. Bentley, the brains. Okay, okay. Let me at that security computer. This is cool that they're out on the field with us now. Instead of just being stuck in the home base. Spotlights are the car, online. I mean. Hurry up, Turtle. Thank you. Here goes the laser security system. I'm working on the security gate. Hurry up, Turtle. Taking too long. Like a turtle. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Murray should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Got it. That's it, Luke. You took it one step too far. I'm calling the cops on you. Huh? What are you talking about? What did I just say? It looks different. Yeah, it does, right? Um, this is the, uh, the HD version on the PS3. I don't know if that's what you're referring to, but, um, oh, I don't know if you're noticing, like, the upscale, or if you just mean, like, the art style is slightly different from the first one. That's funny. Man broke into a museum attempting to steal, add property damage, and soon murder. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely... I'm definitely a rebel without a cause, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at this. Destruction. Yeah, I was, I was looking for these. Well, the coins even look better. I mean, I, I get he's sneaking around, but he ran faster in the first game. He ran a lot faster in the first game. Maybe when we're not sneaking around, he'll run faster. According to my information, the clock 
clockwork parts are being stored up there. Now to get access, you're gonna have to meet up with Murray at the rendezvous point. Unfortunately, the route through the garden is filled with guards. No problem. I'll just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. Okay. I, I remember this from the first game. The graphics and art style are a big jump from the first game. Yeah. It definitely looks, um, cleaner. Like, the, the actual art. Obviously, the graphics are different, but... It just looks like it was redrawn. But yeah, you, you get what I mean. But, again, I, I think it's because the first one did so well. Like, they, they had a bigger budget for this one, so obviously it was going to be better. And I'm assuming... It just gets better as we go along in the in the list of games, which is exciting to look forward to, honestly. Try pressing on ahead without him. <laughs> oh my god. So we have an actual health bar. Murray the brawn. <laughs> By my meteoropic entrance. Is his voice yeah, different? I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe. Is Only his voice different? Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Th of course. It is nothing before the Murray. Just break it, please. Or open it. Yeah, that works. I I break stuff. <laughs> Look at him struggling. Are you gonna come with me? No? I'm just gonna collect the money, collect the money. Look at Why is it dropping health when, like, we haven't even fought anyone yet? Alright, sneaky, sneaky. He is coming with us. Okay. Barrier stands before you. Fear not. I shall bend it like the truth. <laughs> Bend it like the truth. Oh, okay. Yo, this man yeeted that. Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Yeah, they changed his voice actor, but I like this one better, in my opinion. Yeah, it does seem like it fits his, uh, his body, his character. It does. This is so cool, sneaking around like this. I don't get it, Sly. The clockwork part should be here. This is all wrong. We need to pull the plug on this operation right now. <laughs> Oh, Freeze, Cooper. hello. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. The really? Then who broke in last night and made off with your all friend? the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. <laughs> it might not have been him, Comlita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. Who is that? Claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! <laughs> He's already gone. <laughs> Another running sequence? Yep, another running sequence. Classic Sly Cooper. Murray. It's time to go. Yo, I love this. Oh, Bentley. I love that it's. I love that it's all three of us on the field. That's something totally new and awesome. Oh, this is already gonna be good. I can feel it. Go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. I love this for PS2. Pick me 
up at the rendezvous. Yo, for PS2, this is dope, yo. What? You can't run forever. Yes, I can. Oh. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Come on, girlfriend. Let's go. Whoa. Wait. Did he do a side dodge in the air? He did! That's new. That's new. Okay. Move, 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 move. Yo, this is all the intro of the game. It's so dope. Where do I go? Where do I go? This way. Ah, the level's over already. That was so fun. I'll find you, Cooper. No, you won't. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, we got a trophy. Sweet. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. Right. That constable Mila. Was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue, or an intentional clue? Either way. It's her only lead on the missing clock. I don't trust that pink skin girl. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? Nope. No, not at all. Whoops. What Drop. kind of a person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Yeah, that's extreme. Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. That's kind of dark Clock for a kid's game. Out. Well, no, this game is for teens, but still, you get what I mean. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. Aww. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Ah, uh, that's cool. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. Oh, Couldn't this takes place to think I could so two years later? That kind of For me, it was just a few days. Now he's back. <laughs> In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let it be a repeat of my past. Yo, this game is dope, man. I really feel it. This is like, and correct me if I'm wrong, Camel. This is like the Kingdom Hearts 2 of the Sly series. I, I'm getting that vibe. This is like the Kingdom Hearts 2 of the Sly series. Also, in regards to Carmelita, she must make the furries go crazy. Not me, though. Not me. Shh. Okay, when the following icon appears. Uh, okay. Episode one. Is that the first boss? That lizard looking dude? The black chateau? A lizard painter? What the crap? No, he's more like an iguana actually. He's more like an iguana. All right, let's go. Oh. Food up, team. Let's go. Yo, this game is dope, man. This game is freaking dope. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back alley crimes. <laughs> He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. Another villain with a tragic backstory. <laughs> so he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. I love this trope. I don't know why. <laughs> Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. They go through one the bad situation and become a supervillain. And a hint of danger lure in chic like young so patrons extreme. from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. Oh my god. Oh, I love that so much. What Dimitri much. plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight.
Black Cooper and the gang. Nice. In the Black Chateau. I like that uh, we're playing with the whole gang. This game gets really dark. Not too dark, but for a kid's game. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. It is a Kingdom Hearts 2 of a Sly game. Yeah, I'm getting that vibe. Lies, Luke. I saw that swallow when she appeared. Um, I will not dignify that with a response. Okay, now the real first level starts. Wow, this game feels like more open. Oh, are we chilling? Wait, what? This is new. Wait, they're actually giving a purpose to money in this game? They're giving a purpose to money in this game? What? I got sunburn growing up and it hurt my skin. Now I must destroy the sun. Can I be in the game now? <laughs> but that's how this writing is and I'm not knocking on it. I, I think it's beautiful for this game. Just simple. I got hurt now. I'm going to take revenge on everybody. Like, literally every villain up until this point, dude, has had some sort of tragic backstory. <laughs> it just turned them, like, feral. Um, But this is dope, so we actually can use the money now. Trigger bomb. Oh, this is a move for Bentley. This is a move for Murray. And this is a move for Sly. Yo, I like this. Okay, so we got to collect more money. Yep, that's right. You can buy stuff that you collect coins. Okay. Yeah, I know. How do I go back, dummy? Oh, triangle. Okay. All right. Let's start collecting money. Let's play this game, yo. Let's play this game. All right. All right. We got this. We got this. It's going to be a real pleasure robbing this nightclub. <laughs> I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. Okay. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. Got it. On my way. Got it, got it, got it. All right, we got this. Let's do this, yo. Do I attack this? I just want to attack everything. I love how it's... If you click the L3 button, you know, press the left analog stick, I'll beam some virtual markers into your thief mask. They'll help you find your way around. If no markers are in view, use the right analog stick to move the camera and look around for them. Remember, the view is always better from the rooftops. I love how it says, go there. <laughs> like, it's really hard to get lost. I like that. Yo, is this like an open world Sly game? It doesn't feel linear like the old, like the old, the first game. What the heck? This feels like more open world. Not like Elden Ring, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely a step closer. Oh, shoot. Appears to be some sort of clue. I'll decipher it here in the safe house. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. Wow, like you can actually explore? It's actually not linear. That's that's dope. It's it's like an open world game. Oh, okay. So I guess I guess we got some exploring to do, huh? This poor car. Right, I need I need to get back up. That was easy. Dude, like, you really have to scour every inch to get all the bottles. What? I only got four. Um, 
well, let's just keep getting some more. Yo, this is already so different, man. What up, sucker? Come this way. Huh? Did you get back up? I said, down. Why you have infinite lives? Oh. The first guy didn't have infinite lives. You guys are tough. Okay, another one over here. Another one down there. I need to figure out how to climb. Ah, oh, there we go. You have to scour every inch to get the bottles. Okay. I guess we're gonna do that. So, what do I get for bottles? Is it like new moves, like the first game? this way it's optional for the bottles you don't have to forgot honestly i've yet to play sly cooper but i have the collection yeah dude that's what i have it's dope you should you should play it well it's a nice simple kick laid back game it's fun old school 3d platformer there's just a special place in my heart for that and everyone chart i think they don't make games like this anymore man so just Enjoy it while you... If you have it, you should just enjoy it. Because they do not make games like this anymore. And in some ways, it's a good thing. And I think in other ways, it's a, it's a bad thing. I miss these types of games. Yo! Alright. Now, how do I... Did you just do a backflip in the air? Oh my god, Sly. Stop being so cool, please. You are way too cool. You gotta stop, man. You gotta stop. I'm happy they are bringing Sly back. Yeah, dude, if... If Sly 5 is real, dude, what? Oh, my lucky charm. Oh, no, wait, no. I have more health. It's not a lucky... He's aiming at them? How did I do this? He's like, he's Z-targeting. What the heck? That's so cool. Dude, they throw like everything. Alright, we're at 12. I haven't really been keeping track of where I've been, but... I see another bottle. Got another bottle. Oh, I see one over there. Go this way. <laughs> the noise. I love that noise. So far, hearing is going to be a PS5 game. I think PS5. Yeah, that's what the post that you sent me said. Gotta find them all. Um. Yeah, the leak supposedly said PS5, which is a big jump, right? Because... That means Sly would be skipping a whole generation of PlayStation, which is insane if you think about it. And I think Kingdom Hearts did as well. Kingdom Hearts skipped the PS3 and went straight to 4. So this is going from 3 to 5. Dude, that's going to be a huge jump. It'll be interesting to see what that game is going to be like, you know? But well, then again, if you think about it, Crash Bandicoot went from, like, PS1 straight to PS4, if you don't count the Insane Trilogy, you know? Bring it, suckers. hey -ya. What? You think you're cool? You think you're, you think you're nice? 
I've got just cane to the face. Square up, bro. Square up. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I said. All right. Um. I can hide. Now, why would I need that? Oh, we're at the, the destination already. I I don't want to be though. We got more uh, thingamawatches to collect. I only got half of them. Bro, what? No, you guys, I'm talking about from Crash 3 to Crash 4, it was PS1 to PS4. I know there was other games over the years, but I'm saying like from Crash 3 to Crash 4, it skipped a whole bunch of generations. I know about the other games. And I think there was more than Wrath of Cortex. There was other games too. Crash Bash, I think, was another one. Um, but I'm just strictly talking about the main number titles. The big jump. That's when Crash was becoming doo doo. After three, right? Yo, I'm getting trophies. Most of those games are canon. Oh, they are? So, where do they fall in line in the story then? Do they take place after three or like in between, like what Metroid has got going on? Like, is it an intermittent kind of thing? Or is it all like after three? Oh, Camo, how many worlds are in this game? I need to know so I can plan my streams a little bit better. How many worlds? Do you remember? I thought he was dead after the first hit. Get out. I don't even know what this thing is. Is that a frog? So we got frogs and rats. If I'm correct, Crash 3 was created on Parallel Worlds. Oh, it created Parallel Worlds. Yeah, that makes sense. Which gets brought up in Crash 4. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, especially after the final battle. With all the stuff that um, Cortex was messing with. That makes a lot of sense. I wonder, since I have 16, is it safe to say that we're done with this part of the level? Just might be. I wonder if I got all the bottles in this first part. I kind of feel like I did. I kind of feel like I did. Um, oh, there's more. Oh, come on. Hoppity hop. Alright, what else we got? What else we got? Got another one over here. I guess I'm doing good. Am I, am I skipping ahead? I'm probably skipping ahead. I might be skipping ahead. I want to be sure we have everything. Is there something up there? Yeah, there is. This way. 
So we got some more over here. Another over here. Alright, so we got 20 of them. Oh, I see another one. Keep getting trophies. I don't know what I'm doing. Although I remember like in the PS3 era when they had to retroactively add trophies to old games, you would get trophies for like the littlest thing. I think I think that's what's going on here, which I'm not upset about. Could always use more trophies, right? So, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's telling me... Okay. Alright, now I got more incentive to get the last nine. I, I'm kind of curious. I want to see what happens, honestly. Alright. What do I get up there? Well, that was simple. Yo, Sly is so... Agile's not the word. What's the word that, like... Describes how well he can climb stuff. I don't know what the word for that is. Like that. What do I get over there? Agile, parkourish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those words. He's. He's good at what he does, you guys. He's good at what he does. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, but this dude is the man. Like, compared to the other, like, Sony IPs. Although, I haven't played Jack and Daxter, so I don't know. But he's definitely more parkourish than Crash. Then Spyro, then Ratchet. Oh, but he doesn't beat Spider-Man. Can't beat Spider-Man, but out of all these other characters, he's the closest. He's definitely the closest. Can you imagine the parkour in Sly 5, dude? Bro, imagine the parkour in Sly 5. It's gonna be insane. I kind of wish Insomniac would develop the game, but it's probably going to be Sucker Punch. I mean, why would they stop, right? But the parkour in part 5, dude, it would be so freaking dope. Okay, I think I see how to get that now. You're almost collecting before the episode ends. Interesting. So does the episode end when I go to that blue highlighted thing? Insomniac got enough to do. Yeah, right? They have, um... I can name three right off the bat. Three games right off the bat that they're probably up to their head busy with. Spider-Man 2. Ratchet 2. Wolverine. Those three alone must be taking all of their time. All of their time. I don't even know if they're developing anything else. Do you know? Do, do you know if they're working on anything besides those three games? I see another one. Yo, this is fun. I really didn't make it a point to find the bottles in the first one. I want to change that for this game. It just feels a lot more fun to explore in this game. It's gonna be a while for this episode one to end. You'll be fine when you get to the blue mark. Oh, okay. So, are there bottles after the blue mark? I mean, it looks like there might be. I think the first 30 are just in this first area. That's the vibe that I'm getting. They can jump up here. Oh, heck no. Excuse me, sir. Oh, okay. Never mind. Alright, I need to look around for more. Looks like I have three left, right? Alright, I just got three of these bad boys left. 
Um, I just got three of these bad boys left. I just have three of these bad boys left. Let me know if you guys see any, uh, the any, uh, but yeah, you guys, the parkour and slide five, yo, it's, it's going to be mind blowing for the series. It probably won't be as mind blowing as Spider-Man, but it'll be mind blowing for the series. And I am all for it. I'm like definitely all for it, dude. It's going to be dope. All right, bottle. All right. Oh, I found another one. Let's go. So I need just two more. Yep, just two more. It's the worst collectathons when you have like less than two left, less than three left. You gotta scour the whole area for just two of these suckers. So annoying. But we'll find it. I wish there was like a bottle detector or something. That would be cool. I mean, it basically finds it for you, but... Listen, man. Ain't nobody got time for this. <laughs> see, let me see. Anything, anything. It's gonna be Epic House Live 5 will be on PS5. It definitely will, man. It'll be so dope. And it's like, because it's PS5, I wonder how they will handle the whole cartoony aspect. Like... How cartoony will it be? You know? Just how cartoony will it be? I, I hope they do the graphics right. Is this a club or something? I hear music. Oh, it's a theater. Formidable? Yeah, okay. Nobody wants to visit your theater. What's the name of it? Who wants to visit a theater called that? Hoppity hop. Alright, there's an enemy here. Maybe we didn't we didn't explore this. What up? Nice. Square up, yo, square up. Square up, rat. Square up. Let's go. Is this a frog? I still can't tell. Take that. Yeah, it looks like a frog. Okay. Oh my god, this is... This is crazy, man. I just need two more. Just two more, man. I just want two more bottles. I want to see what happens when I complete it. See if it's worth it. If not, I'll just speed run the game. I don't care. <laughs> I want to see if it's worth it. Wait. That noise. Is that a bottle? It is. Oh, thank God. So there's no bottle locator, but the audio cues, I will take. I will take that. I love that you can hear the bottles. That that was a really nice addition. That was a really nice addition. Okay. So now instead of looking, I just need to listen for the bottle now. I like that. I really, really like that. When you hear clanking, it's the bottle. Yeah, I really like that, dude. I hope they keep that for the rest of the games, because that's very helpful. What up, yo? Square up, square up, square up. I love that, um... The gameplay changes when he's near an enemy. What? What is this? They gave Sly a spin attack from Zelda? They, they gave Sly a spin attack. What? 
Also, is this... Oh, this is my, my car. Just one more, my dudes. Just one more. Wherever could it be? You know what? I need... I need like a bird's eye view. Where could it be? Where could it be? It's so cool that he has a spin attack. It fits. You know? It doesn't look like they're just copying Zelda. It looks like that attack fits Sly very well. Listen for it. That makes it a little bit easier. I love that he's like in a fighting stance every time an enemy is nearby. That's so nice. I still can't believe this is the PS2 game. Yeah, right? Some PS2 games were like a real hit. I mean, hello, case in point, Kingdom Hearts. But th there was a lot of PS2 games that just slapped so hard, man. Yo, where the heck is this last bottle? Oh, bottle. Where are you? be last bottle it's by the water all right I'll just run along the river until until I see it He can't swim. I forgot. Oh. That despawn respawn was so fast. I really like that. That was a fast despawn respawn. I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? You'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. If you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. I feel like by me collecting all the bottles, I skipped a lot of tutorials that I was supposed to learn. But I mean, if you played part one, you don't need the tutorial. You don't, you don't really need it. Square up, yo. Square up, homie. Yo, his, his fighting stance is so good. And I also like that you can control the spin attack once he releases it. It's so good. 
destructive objects like this satellite dish. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the object. The first one's in position. Yo. I've uploaded the next waypoint into your leaf basket. This game is like open world. Click the L3 button to locate your Wait, I was correct. Objective. I mean, of course I was. Yes, well, of course. So this game took place after Spider-Man 2, right? I mean, Spider-Man 2 did open world really, really well. So I wonder if that game influenced a lot of other games, you know? I mean, it had to have because Spider-Man 2 is so iconic. Like, honestly, it's right after Spider-Man PS4. It's like, it's so good. And I know some people will argue that Spider-Man 2 is better than Spider-Man PS4. But either way, it's a really, really good game. And like the open world in this city, it was done so well. It really, really was. This is like the beginnings of open world exploration. I love it. While walking to break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. Wait, how do you run? Oh, so Sly does run. I like that there's a difference between his movement speeds. That makes so much more sense. Oh, I love this. Okay. Yo, this... This game improved on so many things. It improved on so many things, dudes. That's because Spider-Man 2 is better than Spider-Man PS4. I knew you would be one of those people, Will. I knew you would be. Oh. One percent. I've been playing for forty-seven minutes. So, where do we go from here? One percent. Excuse me. Get inside. You'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. Yes, they improved a lot. Put it this way, Spider-Man PS4 will be dethroned by Spider-Man 2 for PS5. Well, that I don't doubt at all, dude. Because... Miles Morales DLC was already an improvement. It's not a DLC, but I call it DLC because after playing it, 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 it kind of felt like it. Um, It's going to be amazing. And honestly, dude, I've been thinking about it. I think Insomniac is my favorite game developer. Every single game I have of theirs, I absolutely love. And they put a lot of quality of life changes. Like, one of my favorite quality of life changes in Insomniac games, and this is like all across the board for Insomniac games, once you beat the main story once, you have an option of like when you do a new game plus or a second playthrough to skip all the puzzles. Like, I love that because some Insomniac puzzles are really annoying. But, like, if you beat the game the first time and you want to play it again, there's an option to just skip all the puzzles. And it just makes multiple playthroughs so much more fun. I freaking love Insomniac games. Like, they make really, really good games. Um, Told you, it's, it's going to take... Oh, my God, Dreamy. Dreamy. Thank you for the raid. Hey, friend. How's it going? How you doing? Good to see you. What's up, Dreamy? Um, hi everyone, my name is Luke. I am a retro variety streamer currently playing Sly Cooper and Metal Gear Solid. I'm a huge fan of Kingdom Hearts, Zelda, Pokemon, Metroid, um, stuff like that. So uh, welcome everyone. Good to see you. Happy to have you here. The OG Spider-Man 2 held its crown for 14 years. That is a long time. 
Collectathons. I love Collectathons. My favorite type of game. Insomniac games and Sucker Punch are amazing. They really are. They really, really are. Also, thank you for shouting out Dreamy. Sheep Raid. Hey, Big Tall. How's it going, man? It's good to see you. How's everyone's night or morning? I don't know what time zone you guys are in. How's everyone's day so far? How you doing? How are you? Everything good? Also, let me, uh, you give me job. I do job. Good job. Good job. Um, where am I going again? There. See, whenever you get lost, especially talking to chat, all I got to do is press L3 and it tells me where to go. It's fantastic. Perfect game to stream. Perfect game to stream. You can never get lost. Not one time. Murray. See you, little buddy. I guess the way through the wine cellar is guarded by those rats. Bentley thought you might like some help clearing them out. Sounds like fun. You and me, back to back. Totally. Outnumbered, fighting impossible odds. It's perfect. <laughs> All right, pal. Let's get to it. We about to square up. Let's go. What do you think of Slide 2 so far? It improved on everything from the first game. I love it. Um, it's going to be hard to put this game down. It's, it's fantastic. I love it, love it, love it. Just got home from work. Tired today. About to eat some food. Ooh, what's on the menu, friend? I, uh, I'm really feeling pizza. But to be fair, I'm always feeling pizza. Pretty much any time of day, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I could have pizza. Like, it is the one food for me that's not limited to any meal. Because you could have pizza for breakfast, for brunch, for lunch, for dinner, for dinner, for a snack, for deck fist. That is a really bad way to combine those two words. Well, it's it's better than dick fist, right? Oh, God. Just, just stop. Just stop talking. But the point is, <laughs> I love pizza. <laughs> what are you going to eat? Um, My job is to annoy Luke. Yeah, that's that's true. Services are $50 a minute. Well, I, I got you on, uh, what's it called? Afterpay. So, good, we, we good. <laughs> I'm doing all right. Had to do a short stream. Just doing a bunch of collectible hunting and end game stuff. You were playing God of War, right? You're playing through the God of War series. Is is it your first time or is it like a revisit? Never played the Sly Cooper games. I've always wanted to. Oh, Big Tall, you definitely should. They are so dope. Those uh old school 3D platformers slash like stealth action. It's it's so good. It's really good. Probably leftover pizza, actually. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's good stuff, man. Um, was just going to say, I always wanted to play these games, too. You guys definitely should pick it up. Pick it up. You will not be disappointed. They got the, uh, the Sly collection on PS3. Comes with one through four. So it's, it's a steal. And it was just rumored today, you guys, that there might be a Sly 5 being worked on for PS5. I'm like, how perfect is it that I started Sly Cooper and they're already working on the latest installment after all these years? It's like they're watching me, you guys. Big Brother is watching. <laughs> um, You already want pizza? We had pizza when I last visited. Dude, anytime, wherever, whenever, pizza, I'm down. Pizza is life. Pizza is my favorite food. Pizza is my way of being. I'm pretty convinced that if you took a DNA test of me, you would find pizza there. Yep. I'm convinced. If you took a DNA test of me, you would find pizza there. For sure. For sure. Um, I work for 7-Eleven. Oh, yeah. You, you should have been giving me free pizza all this time, dude. Step it up. Step it up. I played the latest one when it came out. So it was a revisit, but I didn't remember much of it. So it was a pretty new experience. Yeah, I like when that happens. When you get to re-experience a game again for the first time, that 
There's no feeling like that. R.I.P. I'm still baffled that Sly skipped PS4 and now going to PS5. Let's go. PS5 and Sly 5. Yeah, right. The fives lining up like that. It's going to be great. Um, the way Kingdom Hearts did. Although, I guess you can make the case that Birth by Sleep was on PSP. And PSP was around during the PS3 era. Eh. But still. You're like 0% Italian. F you, I gotta pay for it. <laughs> I'm 0% Italian. Eh, what do you mean? Uh, mamma mia. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm gonna play Sly Cooper now. Before I, I further dig a hole. Um. Yeah. So, we just square up? Square up, son. Square up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of you guys. Oh, but I got I got Murray. Just wrecking everybody while I'm getting wrecked. Just let Murray do all the work. Let me lower those bars for you. There you go. To get over this thing, you'll have to double jump. Hit the X button to jump. Then, while in the air, press it again to get some extra air time. Interesting. So what you're saying like you're on your own from here. is that I can jump. I'm used to it. But Thanks once I'm in the air Partner. and I'm floating in zero gravity, I can press the X button again to jump again. Mind blowing stuff, dude. Mind blowing stuff. You know, they've really changed stuff since the first game. I never thought it would ever be possible to jump twice in the air. Oh my God, it's really mind blowing stuff, you guys. I, I just, I can't, I can't fathom the depths of the awesome. My friends my tower. Yes, exactly. You see Murray teamed up with Sly and Bentley. My my friends are my power, so ain't nothing gonna stop us. Also, I'm basically Sly, the weapon of mass destruction. I'm killing everything here. I'm trying to... Yo, we still don't have enough for one of the upgrades that I saw in the store. That That's insane. New Sly on PS5 sounds awesome. Yeah, it, it's a rumor, but... Job. Shut up. It's it's a rumor, but I, I kind of hope it's true. I really hope it's true. Sly deserves it. Like, all those old series, Sly, Jack, Ratchet came back, and I think they should join him, especially with the Sly cameo and Ratchet, the Jack cameo and Ratchet. Like, those old series should definitely come back. That accent was so good, it hurt. Oh, really? <laughs> Wait, thank you. <laughs> Alright, let's not get caught by this. Sly, in order to get past these lasers, you need to crawl under that table. To do that, get near the table and press the circle button. Mind-blowing, fascinating stuff right there. Fascinating stuff right there. Being able to crawl under a table. Be right back. Okay. Isabel wants attention. Hi, Isabel. There, I, I did it for you. I gave her attention. You see, you, you don't have to leave now. I'm gonna be super dad. Super dad. All right, what we got? Can I open this? Fail. You can crawl under this. We got 200. I think we can buy. Guards are too tough to fight head on. Crawl under the tables to sneak around him. I think we can get Sly Smoke Bomb now. She said hi with like a Batman voice. Definitely mine. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I'm Vengeance. Oh wait, you didn't see that movie yet. But that's like his catchphrase. I'm Vengeance. Alright, so we gotta sneak around this Moblin. Yo guys, they totally stole this from Wind Waker. They totally stole this from Wind Waker. We're in a fortress. We got to sneak around pigs with flashlights. This is Wind Waker. This is totally Wind Waker. And he's looking right at me too. Just like in Wind Waker. Slides was 300. Everyone else was two. I could have sworn one of them was four. Well, one of them was expensive. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Ok, 
Okay, nice and easy. I just realized that that could have got his attention, but it didn't. Let's get more money. Let's get more money. Alrighty, alrighty, righty, righty. Alright, let's get out of here. Easy. What? How do I get past you? Oh, that table right in front of you? Yep. What? In this training job, you must avoid being seen by the flashlight guards. Press X to try again. Well, excuse me. Heard it was the cheapest? Okay. Well, you know, that was kind of nice of them. That was like the nicest way anybody's told me I failed the mission. Give them props, man. Because they definitely could have been way more brutal. Way more brutal. I guess I just gotta be careful. This air vent leads into Dimitri's nightclub. Hit the circle button to crawl inside. You heard that? I think the worst fail is in Crash Bandicoot. Wait, which one's that one again? Remind me. In order to shut down those yellow lasers, you'll need to take out that guard. Sneak up behind him and press the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then the square button to slam and finish him off. Got that? The triangle button, then the square button. I did that. Oh, never mind. I knocked him into the lasers and he just spontaneously combust, combusted. That that's great. Crash is pretty brutal. Game over by the evil mask. Oh, you mean when he, when he zooms in and he just goes, <laughs> like that? You talking about that? You have to do it fast, triangle, and square. Oh, okay. I guess I'll get another chance. I can definitely break these mirrors, right? Let's go. Let's get this money. I'm just destroying everything. Why would they let me walk on, on this? Okay. Oh, when you're beating the enemy? Now he legit laughs and says, game over. Oh yeah, he does do that. And then he laughs again, you're right. That is pretty bad. Alright, we need to try this out. I need to see what he's talking about. Oh, that is so dope. Okay. I dig that. I dig that. That was definitely cool. Slide just keeps getting cooler and cooler. Nice, nice. He's on his way to becoming Batman, for sure. Sly is definitely on his way to becoming Batman. Okay, 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 okay. So I guess, do they want me to keep doing it? Don't see me, don't see me. If you get in a fight with those rats, the sneak attack won't work. It's purely a stealth move. Gotcha. Oh 
my god, there's a lot of use. There's a lot of use. See that? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my, oh my god. Take that, take that. Square up. Square up, yo. Square up. Square up, yo. Square up. Yo, can you stop hitting back? You're supposed to let me hit you repeatedly and you do nothing to defend yourself, okay? All right, are we are we in agreement? Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's worse than Souls games when it says you died. Yeah, that's what I was thinking actually, Will. I, I thought the Souls games have a pretty bad death screen or maybe even Resident Evil, depending on which, which uh, game. So awesome, I forgot about it. Just beat them up. <laughs> What's that emo? Oh, it's Batman. I like that emo, Dreamy. That's a really cool emo. Did you make that? Where'd you get it? Batman's my favorite superhero. He's, he's the best. Ah, another air vent. Judging by the angle, I think it should lead to the printing press. My second favorite is definitely Spider-Man. Although sometimes I feel like I alternate between the two because Spider-Man is really such a great superhero. I alternate between Batman and Spider-Man. And sometimes the image of them in my head is like blurred. I don't know. They're both they're both my favorite superheroes. It's a global emote. Okay, let's go. I gotta ch look into that. Our BRB food is ready. What are you eating, Will? What are you eating? What are you eating, buddy? Oh, is that the the guy we're hunting? Jackpot! The heart of Dimitri's operation. Head for those windows and take some reconnaissance photos. Tap the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick, to bring up your binocucom. It's already outfitted with a spy cam. Why? Use the right analog stick to zoom in and out on photo targets. Tap the R1 button to take a picture when you've got a good shot. That's our target, Dimitri, professional lounge lizard and international forger. I feel like a hitman. Money printer? That generator seems to this be is cool. I like these mechanics. I have the Blood Batman and my follower emotes. Did the Arkham series at the beginning of the year. Oh, nice. Can you can you send it in the chat? I, I'd like to see it. You can see Dimitri smoking. Yeah, I think I saw him before. Money printer. Ingenious. Dimitri's using the clockwork tail feathers as printing plates. Given their rare alloy, they'll never wear out. Unlimited forged money. That should do it, Sly. Head back to the safe house and we'll cook up a plan of attack. Oh. 3%? We've been playing for an hour. Oh, that PS2 the rendered scene. Photos are a grim reminder of what the modern PS2 renders, y'all. Spotlights, stepped up PS2 controls, renders, I can see it. Some of it all renders a direct assault. I can automatically possible. see the difference. Oh boy. To solve this puzzle, I'm going to need some more intelligence. First, replace this bugged painting with one Dimitri has in his office. Once in place, we should be able to listen in on his communications. Second, if you see the boss, tail him. We might learn something from studying his movements. Once we've got a proper understanding of the operation, those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Let's go. Follower emotes only show up in the channel's chat. I'll show you if you get a chance. All right. I gotta stop by to one of your God of War streams. I mean, it's been hard because I don't want to spoil, get spoiled, but at the same time, I want to support you. So I'll just pop in and say, hey, and maybe like leave a lurk or something. Cause I, I one day I gotta play through the God of War series, which now that I got my PS3 up and running, there's a God of War collection on PS3, right? Let me see. 
Let me see. God of War collection. I, I swear, there is one, right? PS2 renders. <laughs> Looks so good. I'm back. Isabel and I went reading. Nice. Yeah, all the God of War collections on PS3. Ah. Yo, so I gotta add that to the retro list to stream. Can you guys believe I've never really played God of War? I think... I think that would be perfect to do on the channel. I've never played God of War. And like, all my friends have been telling me to play the, the PS4 one. Um, might as well do the whole series, right? And they even... They ported the PSP one to the PS3, right? Oh wow, look at that. It's... It's right there in plain sight. $35? Oh well, it is two discs. So honestly, that's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. Let's see what this bad boy's got. Um... Alright. Might as well just show you guys what I see. Alright. So, in this collection, we got... God of War Collections 1 and 2. God of War 3. Chain of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta. So, you're telling me that there's... Five games on this for 35 bucks? They're all $7 a piece? That's... That's pretty dope. Yo, guys, should I get this? Yo, should I get this? Those two unnumbered games were PSP releases. Okay. Except for Ascension. They're good. Yes, get it. I saw them in the game store yesterday for a few dollars. But that's not bad if you want to go for it. Wait, Dreamy, you saw them, you saw them individually, or you saw, you saw this specific collection? Oh, check my account, you might not have to get it. Oh, you think you have it digital? The whole collection? The God of War Saga. Yo, I, I never even thought of that, you guys. Thank you for that idea, Dreamy. Thank you, Dreamy. At one of these... One of these points, I'm going to be streaming God of War, the whole series, because I never played it. And for the first time, I, I think I think that'll be an enjoyable stream, right? Never having gone through God of War. That's going to be fun, so thank you, Dreamy. My PS3 is unplugged, so I'm not checking. Okay. Well, it is going to be a while. Um, I think it'll be dope if maybe like the months leading to God of War 2 on on the PS5. I think that'd be the perfect time to start streaming it. Um, Because right now I'm going through Sly. I'm going through Metal Gear. I think I want to start the Jack series because I, I have it. it. It was on sale yesterday. The Jack bundle was on sale yesterday for 20 bucks and I couldn't resist. So I bought it. So after I play through the Sly series, I'm going to play through Jack. Um, maybe we can do God of War after the Jack series and after I finish Metal Gear. That's something to think about. Anyway, yeah, I, I've been talking too much. Got to play this game. But thank you for the idea, Dreamy. I definitely think I should play God of War. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. Let me go over here. Yeah, I, I might get that. Alright, so let's see what we can buy now. Now that we have some money. Oh, what was right? The cheapest one is... For Bentley. Alright, 
Sly Cooper people. What do you guys recommend should be my first purchase? Should I go right ahead and get Bentleys or should I save up for Slys? What do you guys think I should get? Because uh, I feel like we're going to be mostly playing as Sly. So maybe I should save up for the smoke bomb first. I recommend getting the smoke bomb. Okay, so we got, I'm only 20 coins away, not even 12 coins away. So I'll get the smoke bomb first. Honestly, I think I could have had it by now if I just destroyed a little bit more stuff. I, we could have got it right now. It's an amazing series and PS4 as well. It's around 20 bucks on Mercari for that collection. Ooh, you don't say. Yeah, I definitely want to look into that. If anything, I, I might want to get my hands on it sooner than later because you know how old games kind of just go fast and then you can never find them again. Um, But at least whoever developed God of War, at least they're not Konami. Konami games are super hard to get. Like this Metal Gear collection that I got, it was the last one. Konami games are really hard to get. Um, Whenever I play through Silent Hill, I don't know how I'm going to do it, dude. I don't know how I'm going to do it. And uh, I think I want to play some of the older Resident Evils. Like, there's a lot of retro stuff that I want to do, man. There's a lot of retro stuff to do. The old Resident Evils, Silent Hill. I recently remembered a game called Splinter Cell. I've never played that. Like, all those old games that I never got a chance to as a kid, I could play them now, you know? I think that'd be dope. Konami sucks. They, they sniff doo doo for fun. It's pretty intense, bro. It's pretty intense. Hey, Sly, you can bring up your binoculars by pressing the R3 button. You know, the right analog stick that adjusts the camera. Click it to look for your binoculars. They'll be useful for finding the new job starts I've placed around town. Plus, they'll let you read the job titles. I wonder where we go, you guys. I wonder where we go. <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. And we already got all 30 bottles. So I did all, all of the work already. So I guess that tells me that we have until we defeat the boss to get all the bottles. But if I can, I'll just try to collect all the bottles first. And then, you know, kind of just enjoy the level like I'm doing right now. I think this is a good system going forward. Don't know if it'll go exactly as planned from every level going forward, but um, I think it's a good plan. I, I think it's a really good plan. I managed to outfit this forged painting with a bug. I need you to sneak into Dimitri's office and swap it with the original. Nice. So, we'll be able to listen in on his conversations. Yes, I thought things might go more smoothly with an ear on the inside. Just be careful with a fine art. Take any damage and the painting's ruined. Good to pick those REs up. Some of them have already got expensive. Ooh. Uh, Dreamy, what if I just get them on the PS3 store because I, I have no problem getting them digital. Um, I think they might be cheap too if I if I go that route. Because getting hard copies for the old Resident Evils, yeah, I think that's going to be like a lot. But the PS3 store is still intact, I think. Um, and I know they had that whole like classic PS3 slash PSP games like, like what I got with Metal Gear. Um, I can get some older games. The PS1 classics, that's what they were called on the PS3. So maybe maybe I can go that route. Um, I first live five. Yeah, me too, man. Me too. Oh, these pigs are out now. I'm so glad I got the bottles first. I'm so glad I did that.
Do I go here next? I I don't really know. Using this passageway will abandon your current job. Oh. So what is that? Like a side mission? What the heck was that? That's how I got some games that were too expensive. Physical, like Fatal Frame 3. Yeah. Oh, man. And they have that new one coming out, right? Or a new one that came out? I remember hearing about a new Fatal Frame. That's a good series, too. There's... I don't know. What do you guys think? There's just something about retro games that just kind of got lost over the years. And in some ways... Drop something. In some ways, these older games are better than the new stuff that we're getting. I don't know if I'm the only one that feels that way. I don't know. There's just something about these retro games, man. Like, the fun factor is more present here than in newer games. Not, not for all new games. There's some new games that are just fun as hell, but... I think for the most part, these retro games could be a, a top contender still. How do I get over there? Bad controls, bad cameras, bad voice acting. What are you talking about? This is your main mission right now? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I missed it all. Well... Nobody's talking about the clunky controls from Metal Gear, Valentino. We're talking about the actual good games. From back then. I'm talking about good games. Good retro games. <laughs> it's nostalgic and very fun. Depends how fun it is. Yeah. Yo, this song. Yo. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. This is a bop. What the heck? Bro, what is this song? Yo, this song just turned it up to 11 out of nowhere. It just turned it up to 11. Yo, what? Let's go. Oh my god, I don't even want to play. <laughs> I don't even want to play anymore. This song is awesome. <laughs> the new Fatal Frame came out on the Wii U 2016. They remastered it and put it on all consoles last year. Oh, that's dope. Is that good retro? Um... The best, hello. This level, good luck. The song slaps. What a savage beat, for sure. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, focus, focus. Enough of that, enough of that. Serious time. We're, we're here to, to bug a painting. Let's do this. Also, I think we're about to get enough coins. Give me... 300! Let's go, we got 300. Is that synthesizer beat from an old cartoon? Probably. I don't know. The schematic indicates that door is locked from the inside! That's alright. I never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach way up there through that air vent. <laughs> Yo, this freaking slaps, bro. What is going on? Oh my god, I, I can't focus. Who keeps screaming like that? Is that part of the beat? How do I get over there? There's 
nothing to climb. Oh, wait. I see how to get there. Gotta go that way. Of course. The super long way. Um... What in the what? Is that climbable right there? I can't tell. Wait, what? What did that say? Oh. It's part of the beat, the scream? Oh, okay. Yo, this beat slaps, bro. To go. How do I get up there? Oh my god, are you serious? Whoa. Okay, that took oh crap. That scream throws me off. Alright, it looks like we're making progress. did it you guys without getting caught let's go let's freaking go also this is very reminiscent of spider-man yo this is cool sly cooper and open world match so well they they go together so well sly cooper should be an open world game it should be. Sly Cooper and Open World, it, it goes together so well, dude. Do I have to sneak back out? Oh, the vault! The vault! It took some higher level math, but I believe the code to Dimitri's vault is 231. So it's the same as before. No. It's the same as before. Do I get a new move? Knockout dive. Oh, that's what it is. Sweet. So I have to exit the level without getting caught. Yeah, definitely on PS5. It should... It should definitely be an open world. Definitely. Oh, come on. Really? Let's go. Did it without getting seen. The way a pro does it. You can get caught now since you finished the level. But what if I don't want to, Camel? <laughs> if you get caught, you can run away by holding down the R1 button. OK. 
Okay. Gotta go there. Oh, that Metal Gear training came in handy. I think you're right, Valentino. And of all the retro games that I wanted to start with, I ended up starting with two stealth games. How about that, right? How about that? Even though you got caught all the time in MGS, well, it had to rub off at some point, right? Which means tomorrow when I start Metal Gear 2, I'd like to think I'll be better. I'd, I'd like to think that. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I love this when he's sneaking and it plays a different beat. I love that. All right, let's see. Um, let's go over here. Yo, this is fun. I freaking love this game, dude. Geronimo. Clear for what? That I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. Okay, now we'll really see if my stealth is on point. Um, reminds me of Ape Escape. Different theme when you're crouching. Dreamy. That's another game that I have not played that is also retro. Is that on the PS3 store? Like as a classic? I remember being a kid and seeing the Ape Escape trailer and just being like, wow, that looks like a cool game. And and I never got it. I've always wanted to play Ape Escape. And they made they made a part two, right? There's two Ape Escapes. Man, that's that's another retro game that I really want to try out. Oh man, I can actually search it. Ape Escape, PlayStation, yo, you guys are giving me mad ideas today. Okay, so Ape Escape 2 is on the PlayStation 4. Wait, really? Ape Escape 2 is a PS PS2 HD remaster thing for the PS4, but I'm looking for Ape Escape 1. It seems like it's... Huh? The soundtrack is so dang good. Not sure if it's on PSN. Definitely worth a look. I think there's actually three Ape Escapes. Ah. I mean... If we can't find it, you guys, at the end of the day, if I really want to play Ape Escape, I can acquire it, if you get my meaning. I definitely want to play that at some point. And if we can't buy it, we're just going to have to acquire it by other means, if you get my drift. Um... It's weird. Ape Escape 3. I think I have to check the PS3 website specifically. The PS3 store specifically. Because if you try to Google it, you can't see what's on the PS3 store. I've tried it. Um, but the only way to really see what's on the PS3 store is to go on the PS3 store. And I have a feeling that that's where I'll find all the Ape Escapes. I think. I mean, I'm not quite sure, actually. Ape Escape 1 is on PS1. Yeah, I know, Will. I was just hoping that, like, Metal Gear and, like, Resident Evil and Final Fantasy, I was hoping that it would be under the category PS1 Classics on the PS3 store. Ape Escape 2 and 3 are PS2. 
Luke how scandalous. I don't know what you're talking about. But if I want to play Ape Escape, I'm going to play it by whatever means necessary. That's why I mod my stuff. I mean, I want to try to be as legit as I can. But if there's no other recourse, then you got to do what you got to do, right? But if I can, I'd, I'd like to support these developers because these games are good and, and they deserve the support. Oh, okay. So I just gotta not be seen. Oh, it's another bop, you guys. It's another bop. I'm gonna take the high road. Because that's probably best. Alright, where you at, sucker? There he is. This is so easy, following him from up here. Don't look up here. I swear, if you look up here. Okay. Yo, I feel like Batman. Like how he would trail somebody from the rooftops. I'm in love with Sly so much. Oh, this is, this is too good. I love this. What up, sucker? I think he did look up. Okay, easy does it. So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. Really helpful that we have these rooftops. I wonder where he's gonna go. Oh crap, we gotta go over there. Oh damn it. Um smooth. I'm gonna lose him. Keep it smooth, baby. Walk tall. Stand tall. Feel funky. Juice. Who's got the juice? Smooth. Dig the kinetic. Kinetic aesthetic. Make art. Breathe art. Feel art. Make sure you can see how Dimitri gets through the door, but I'm still looking at him. I I see him. <sighs> Whatever. This is a fun mission. I'm not mad that we gotta redo it. I'm not mad. I guess what I did before, I just gotta do it faster. That's all. The second PlayStation decided it was going to discontinue PS3 support. That was it. Uh, I see. You have to kind of go behind him when he gets near the door. Oh, okay. I can do that. So far, so good. I think I went this way. Because if you think Sony will keep the games listed, you'd be wrong. I know. But at least, well, I can, I can stream them. I can have them recorded. And at least I can have those memories to look back on. Because it's going to be too expensive to try to get the hard copies. And maybe one day, I know, I probably will have to... Do what you do. But until that time, smooth. I'm gonna continue like this. Keep it smooth, baby. Walk tall. Stand tall. 
Feel funky. Juice, who's got the juice? You won't be able to see what Demetrius is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. Smooth. Keep it smooth, baby. Mm. Uh. Aha! Uh -huh. They expected him to rem He had no idea you were watching while he typed in that secret code. Hold on. Looks like that door leads to the nightclub's aqua pump. This might be useful for the heist. Oh, so you saw the code for me. Okay, good. What? What's happening? Oh, now we're gonna switch to Murray? Maybe for a couple of years, but that's it. They want you on their new subscription. Oh yeah, I was reading up about that. It seems cool at the moment, but I don't know. I, I just think in the long run, we're going to be spending more money than we need to, to play all the games that we want to play. Like if they come up with a game that I really, really want to play, I might subscribe for that month, but I think to just keep the subscription, that's a lot of money, you know? Back to hideout to play as Murray. This is a job for Murray. Come back to the safe house to switch characters. Can I... Can I do it from the menu, Camo? Is it episode menu? Is that what I do? I only pay for Game Pass because it's $2 more than Xbox Live. Sadly, no, you have to go walking. Oh, okay. Yeah, Xbox, even though it's, it's a lot. Oh, that's what the S is for, a safe house. Um, I think as far as subscription services, Xbox, Xboxes is the best. They have a lot of bang for the buck. But I don't know if you could really justify Nintendo and PlayStations just yet. But Xbox definitely has the best game subscription service. That's for sure. I think, like, hands down. Now I finally know what that S is for. I thought it meant like side quest or something. Oh shoot. Crap, where is it? There it is. So that's why it told me before you're abandoning the mission. All right, first things first. We gotta get the smoke bomb. Cool. Check. Check. We playing as Mer- Oh, wow. Okay. Look at him. He's tired already. What the heck? Oh, my God. I'm walking right into trouble. Murray's not really the stealthy type, though. He can double jump? That makes no sense, but whatever. Let's roll with it. We, we rolling with it. That and there is nothing worse than having a game you paid for getting delisted. Yeah. Well, they usually let you keep the game. You just can't access it again from the server. So it's like, if it's not downloaded, you might be in trouble. But I think as long as you have it installed, it should be fine. Then I'm just gonna delete it from your PlayStation, even if it's installed. Murray plays differently than Sly. He's more of a muscle guy. Okay. He's got some really strong cat. That was funny.
Ah, pero ahí... Oh. Let's go. Did you heard about Xbox Game Pass and all digital games being down for three or four days? No, but I do hear that from time to time Xbox has issues. Murray, I need you to make your way back to the aqua pump room and sabotage it. Jeez, I don't know. Yo, this How is so am I supposed cool. To get past these lasers? I love that we're playing as the other characters. That power box by throwing something at it. Press the circle button to use your stomp move near the ice machine to pick up a block of ice. Then press the square button to throw the block at the power box. Hit the circle this level is fun. It looks fun. And the square button to throw. Got it. There is days when I wake up and notice my game count's gone down. The ones that you didn't install, right? Is that what you're talking about? But either way, that does suck, man. How are we supposed to get through that with Murray? He can't fit through that. Do I destroy this? Wait, that's ice? What do I do with this? Oh, I see. You're strong, Murray. Sweet. Try picking up other stuff in the room. You have to pick up the ice. Keep throwing at the machine. Okay. But if it gets removed from your own games. When it comes back, you still don't reown it. That That's annoying. That's like really annoying. I can't wait to take on that guy. Go muscle to muscle. Knockdown can be picked up with your stomp move. Throw something at that guard. Then jump up there and pick him up with the circle button. What? Are you serious? He just burned up. That was dark and awesome at the same time. Dark Souls did. You mean like digitally games? Yes. That's why NFTs. Oh. Because technically you don't own any digital games you buy. Yeah, that I know. You're, you're just paying for a license to use it, but not ownership of it, something like that. Like you're just paying for a key, basically. Um, you can steal his coins or burn him. That's so funny. Um, yeah, that's where NFTs and stuff like that kind of really suck. But hopefully we can still enjoy stuff. Wait a minute. How am I supposed to get through this? I guess I have to be sneaky. Oh, he can just walk through it. He's, he's a monster. Let's go. Okay. Toss the rats into that open water main and plug up those pipes. How do you? Broken.
Nice. Yo, Murray's busted. When the aqua pump out of commission, they'll be forced to root water through the old pipe tower. Those fools, they're playing right into our hands. Oh, that was easy. Oh my god, we've been playing this game for almost two hours, only 5% complete. I don't know whether to be scared or impressed. Okay, fellas, I've constructed a plan to get at the clockwork tail feathers. But we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the spotlight control center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the discotheque to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> okay, I'll trust you. Be right back? Okay. I guess I gotta oh, infiltrate with Sly. This is cool that you could play with all of them. This game is already vastly different from the first one. In like all the best ways. I, I love this game so much. Koopa. You, Constable Neela. Another Your name is Constable. Okay. Please, I led you here. So that claw gang slip was a clue. Why are you helping me out? I'm not as black and white as Carmelita. I know what a menace those clockwork parts are, and I don't want. I don't the trust you. Claw gang putting them to use. So what? It takes a thief to catch a thief. Something like that. But if I'm going to trust you in this case, I need to know that. You can keep up. Literally. 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 Fall behind. Fly, hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neela. What the? Okay. I got this. I got this. I'm about a Naruto run. Okay, so far so good. You're slow, girl. Come on. We got this, we got this. Go, Sly, go. Why are you destroying stuff for no reason? Stop. You're a vandal. Only I can be- uh oh. Only I can be a vandal. Damn it. Is she actually waiting for me? Damn it. She got bored waiting for you. I was supposed to be better at that. Um, let's try it again. We, we, we got this. We totally got this. Fly, hold down the R1 button to run. You'll need it to keep up with Constable Neela. Okay, so far so good. I'm about to run ahead of you. Alright, you went this way, I think. There she is. Alright, we got this, we got this. Go, go, go. Let's go, let's go. Alright, we got this, we got this, we got it. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, now just don't fall on this part and we should be good. All right, all right, all right. We got this, we got this. Oh, crap. This is where I lost her. Let's not lose her again. All right, I'm not gonna lose you. Okay, okay. She's a fast little girl, isn't she? Faster. Did we do it? Is this the end? Nope. 
Also, this is really fun, by the way. This definitely has, like, open-world elements. Hoppity hop, let's go. Are we here yet? Lady. Damn it. Well done, Sly. We should work well together. Glad you approve. Now, legally, I can't enter Dimitri's nightclub without a warrant. But I happen to have obtained a key to his back door, which a person like yourself can use however he pleases. Oh, okay. We are absolutely going to work well together. <laughs> nice. We got a key. Let's go. Job inside the disco will require my demolition skill. Uh oh. Head on back to the safe house. I should be all geared up for the field by the time you arrive. Okay. I guess I gotta go back. Yo, we get to play as Bentley now? Okay. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm with it. Uh oh. Where's the safe house again? Is this somewhere far? What up, sucker? Later. There it is. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Everybody is aware of me when you get caught. Can I just go in here? Oh, that's so broken. That should not be allowed, but that's okay. Yes, let's go. Let's play as Bentley. You got a crossbow? What? What's the point of... I want to fire the crossbow. Alright, whatever. There we go. <laughs> Look at the way he runs. Let's go, Bentley. Wait, wrong one. Damn it. Alright, we gotta go this way. Maybe. Unclear. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Hoppity hop. Hoppity hoppity. Hoppity. Hoppity hop. Go, go, go. Hoppity hop. Hoppity hoppity. How do you shoot the crossbow? I wonder if that's an ability we unlock. Let's go. How do I fight those guys? Good job. Now, use your sleep darts to get by the guard. Press the R3 button, you know, click the right analog stick, to bring up your binoculum. And then tap the R1 button to fire a dart. Now, drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. Yo. Okay. So he's got the gadgets. And then Murray's all brawn. And Sly's kind of in the middle. I like that. That's cool. Hey, Bentley. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine. Fine. I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk. Now I've got to keep moving. Keep safe. Yo, 
the song, man. The music in this game is so good. Let's go. That's two down. That's two down. We got this. We got this. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, we got it. We got this. Uh oh. Am I too far? Probably. Oh, I was too close. Great. Um, all right, let's try this again. Go. Oh, I missed one. I love this. Playing as the other members of the squad. This is so cool. Introducing like an, a lot of new gameplay elements. Peak design, yo. Is that it? Wow, Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. So, do I go back now? Guess so. That scream gets me every time. Um, the exit was this way? Oh my god, the lasers. Oh, that was close. Alright, I think the exit is this way. Part of the first level is like way longer than the first level of the last game and I think I like it I think I kind of like it I, I really like it let's see safe house safe house darn it where are you safe house game is longer than the first game. Sweet. Just run, Bentley, run. Later, loser. Haha, <laughs> got him. I guess I can do the mission with Murray.
for a big guy, he's pretty fast. This was easy. Okay, Murray. That alarm horn will tip off Dimitri during our heist. There are three of them out here, and I need you to take them out. Check. This is going to take some serious muscle, Murray. You're the only guy on the team who can pull this off. <laughs> Stop to pick things up, then throw it at those alarm horns. Good luck, pal. This could get rough. Evildoers feel my wrath. So I gotta pick up something and throw it? Oh, I could just throw a table. Sweet. What? Bring it, son. Hiya, hiya, hiya. It's pretty cool you can play as other members. Can you do that in the other games? I'm curious. You you can spoil that on me. Can you can you play as them in the other games? Oh, they can't swim? How does that make any sense? Makes no sense. Yes? Okay, great. What about to say though, dude? Like, a hippo that can't swim? I mean, I suppose there are birds that can't fly, but that just really doesn't make sense. Get out of here. <laughs> that was funny. safe house which is that way yeah so this definitely is gives open world feels and I really like that I really like this Let's go back to Sly. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Whoa, malfunction there much? Spotted. But will I be caught? That's the question. Ha! Yo, Sly is too agile. He's too cool for these losers. Um, I need to get up somehow. Perfect. I 
how do I... I need to get higher. This seems to be a good way. Okay. Hoppity. Let's go. Gotcha. Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down for this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile keys that will be destroyed if you attack. We can pickpocket? Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take those thugs out. Acrobatic was the word I was looking for before. And press the circle button. That's the word that I was looking for. Acrobatic. Thank you. When we said parkour. He's picking his pocket. Sometimes you have to dig a little. <laughs> Zelda. Da da da. That was really cool, by the way. Where's the other guard down there? Drop it, drop. Guess that's it's not you. Get out of there. The other guard. This one. We got this. I can kill them. But it's more fun this way. It's very stealth-like and I want it so that they never notice me in the room. Definitely this one. There we go. The lizard is Spanish? That's so funny. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I need more keys. Oh, there's six of them? Oh, crap. Aw, oh, man. So I do gotta do the other guy. Thank you for the water. Sorry. It's all of these guards? Okay. Blue mean I got it already, or there's something in there. Uh, okay. I guess blue means there's something in there. Come 
time. Careful. Jeez, so close. This camera is really bad. Blooming something's in there. I think you missed one. Alright, we'll we'll backtrack and get them all. I just noticed on the bottom right it says five out of six. Okay. I just gotta see who has blue pants. Who's got the highlighted pants? Um Oh, there's a third one over there. Of course, he's he's close to uh what? No, I... I got that one already, didn't I? I'm kind of confused. Yeah, they don't have blue pants. So, should I take them out? Never went this way. Oh, there's one up here. Hurry. Nice work, Sly. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fans. Nice. Let's go, super stealth. Aren't these the panels? Oh no, I gotta go back to the keys. Okay, so far so good. Oh, nice. Look at that. Not even being seen. Not one time. Let's get it. Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. What is happening? Oh, he's destroying them. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. We did it. Yo, 7%. PS2 renders. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, 
Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. <laughs> this is the best? Okay. I'm gonna play as Bentley first. Let's play as Sly. All right, it's looking like we're wrapping up this first chapter. So let's do it. What? There's no. Oh yeah, we gotta do Bentley first. I think that's what they said. Bentley first. The stream ended. Are we back? I wonder what happened. Are we good? Can you still see and hear me? Hmm. Are we good? Like... It's good now? You sure? Okay, I guess my internet just just dumped on itself or something. All right, we're back. We're back. We're back. All right, so let's let's wrap up. Come on, chum. Let's get to that water tower. I'm getting the feeling that we're almost done with the episode, so... Good stuff, man. Oh, shoot. We only Sly can climb. Shoot that. Do I bomb that? I kind of wasn't paying attention. Drop into my arms. I'll toss you up there. I was saying that you're gonna love this. I feel like I do already. Oh, big bro. Oh, come on, that was perfect.
What am I missing? Just bomb that. Oh. Okay. Crap, my bad. Come on. Why can't I get inside? Drop from the water to oh, all. Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks, Camel. That makes a lot more sense. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Was easy. Success! Why? The water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off, all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Big lock and the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Gotcha. Oh, I automatically switched to Sly. Let's go. Let's go. Sweet. Okay, head back to the fountain to make the exchange. Got it, got it. Let's go, let's go. Hey, look, it's our friends. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. Get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. Okay. Um. Go this way. Oh. Oh, I, I see where I can climb. I see it. I see it.
that music. Let's go, let's go. I'm in position. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. This is funny. Higher. Bad shot. It's kind of hard to aim at this. Sorry. Dang. How did that not do it? Looks on. Pull away. There we go. The guards are on to us. Protect the truck. Oh, I wanted to slide down. It should be simple enough. Let's go, let's go. Got this. You need to prevent the truck from being destroyed. It got destroyed already? Well then, sorry. I'm in position. Great. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to Had a hard time as well. We'll try again. Looks on. Pull away. Slide. The guards are on to us. Protect the truck. Okay. Oh, my gosh. How do I do a smoke bomb? Oh my god. Why is this so difficult? What? I'm in position. Great. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. Missed. On, pull away. Fly. The guards are on to us. Protect the truck. I have to equip it in the menu. Let's go. I think safe has to can equip it. Okay. Hold 
the majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Boss battle. So raccoonas do this. I totally bummed my house up this. and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. Look, bro. I see you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah. Look. The money. You like the money. You can take Thanks, all man. you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can. What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Same. And your suit sucks. Yeah. Oh, let's dance! What? He's got like super speed. Wait, how do I do this? Figure this out. What the freak? Okay, time to run. Oh my... Jeez, well, it's nice to know I have actual HP. The... Oh, shoot, oh, shoot. So you can just get up close and personal with him. Uh-oh. Oh my god, not that stupid attack again. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hit me again. You got a juice? Take that, take that. Oh, shoot. One more try. Now that I know what to do. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. What? Ha ha. Yeah. Whoa. Where you at, homie? Uh-oh, I need to shield. Two, three. You out of juice? Yeah, he is. Oh, shoot. Take. Get back here, slimy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Damn it. How much HP do you have, sucker? That again. One, two, oh shoot. Three, four, out of juice. Nope, he's not out of juice. Uh -huh. Darn. This is like a legit boss fight. I like this. This is legit in every possible way.
Wait, there was healing items here? What? Let's go. Let's go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need a shield. Damn it. Two. You're out of juice. You're out of juice. Shoot. I hate that he can't miss. Take that. Take... Uh-uh. Ah. Healing items? Get out, get. Get out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Darn, man. This boss fight will test your skills like Dark Souls. I mean, I like it. I definitely do. They definitely stepped it up from the last game. Hey Biscuit, what's up man? Thanks for the cheer. Whoa. Whoa. Got I wish there was a dodge move. Whoa. Alright, sucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Take this. Oh no. I need a heal. Whoa. No, oh, I guess I guess we're gonna have to no damage run it. Bring it, sucker. Uh oh, shield. Two, three. One more time. Four, five. Oh god. Six, seven. Where you at, homie? Let's go! Wait, what? We're not done? Yes, let's go! We got him! When am I playing Metal Gear? Tomorrow. And my counterfeit in operation. It's definitely tomorrow, dude. Doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You box! It looks like I needed the cheer, so thank you. Thank you for that. We got the f tail feathers. Let's go. And that should be episode one done. Nine percent. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. <laughs> Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Nice. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. Let's go. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Seriously. So that took like almost three hours, nice. Um, does the game autosave? I don't want to start episode 2 yet. So I'm going to end the video here. If you guys enjoyed today's content, don't forget to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you're new for more slide videos coming your way. Check out these other videos of other content that I've made. My name is Luke, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.